गेविल अटैच थे अनि तनि आज चाहिँ गेविल अपरा थि आज के चाहिँ आज दि फे गयो दि दि हन द द चिकिरला गुर्गी सब जोन छिको दिन आयो रे अनि कबसो छिदु गाने अनि फे जुज रे अनि दि शोला आज गे तन द लब दि सब जोन कबसो अनि सुंसे छि नान थुना लन आज रे गुछु वना छि कोंगी शेशे सम्बुज थोयो रे अनि सिदा गेविल ला खुरा गी मोटि मा दुदु जि शुथा शुछ शुछ बचे थम देला अनि गेविल ला मिस्टर गेविल ला खुरा थम्बो सबे इंग्लैंड ने इंग्लैंड ने फे बरे अनि कोंगी एता हइनि मा लो चुप शिरिंगला जगाला पेचे शुचे तने धर्मशाला धर्मशाला तो के खुशी हो अनि धर्मशाला शुचे अनि आलाबाला नि नवरे अनि अदर लो के गिरिंगला अछिंगि थासन नोला बेतको ताचे ताचे फेरा थोने न खासा दिने छि शुजिंग नाला अनि लबल लुमिर नाव छिरे अनि गेबिन ला खुरांग गी ता गेबिन ला खुरांग ता ट्रेन इंग्लिश टीचर रे अंतिम अंतिम में बिया हाँ दाखोंगे इंग्लैंड लफा इंजीनियर सोला भी लम नंगी रे अन गिविन लाखों रंगी शुंग मांबोची इंजीनियर इंजीनियर थोला ट्रांसलेशन चाहिए रे दी मां दो दिन शुद्ध हुए ना शुद्ध हुए ना तुकुर टीमें वेगिए अंदर किडुलो सांग गेटिंगी जीबे तुकुर टीमें वेगिए लेजी इंजीनियर थ अनि जिन बच्चे की तम नवे रिम्गा सल्टियन वो दिया वे पीने ना लाग जुबा था अनि कौन सा चोगी जिन अभी अनि क्या बच्चे लिंग रिम बच्चे की नाम था दां अनि गुला में देशी लियो थंबो दिए पीने ना लाग जुबा वाले अनि था दा कौंगी जुशिंब दी हमो थप्शुंगी हमो थप्शुंग गे दी अंदर पीने ना लाग जुशिंब Institute of Tibetan Classic. Pih ki chula lo chula chula ki tine anda di tu tin jimba ki anda sopa chhe on di nala full time translation na 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 shim bare an thanda ki chodan di la gavin la khurang ki anzu ki methodology of translation na ani western attitudes towards Tibetan Buddhism thola ani kama tuin chudu chigirin la sunshe ta teje la kama ni shu ki tiwa chine shayin gavin la. Tambala tu chiche. Tak ngah, percaya tak mikir show mainga, mana yang na tak kaji orang itu, percaya mana translation methodology percaya saya ti, percaya ni mana zinda la lapsan ini, ini yang tak cuci na percaya tak misa bayung sere, ini yang jute jute cuci na tak kena yang sama re, ada ber, tak ngah pakai apa sih me, ini yang Mangce mix je ya na, tak leh labu ya na, pergi pergi lagi. Tak kalau kau yang inji ke lagi, lewa, ayu saya, kengko shas sawa nasi lewa deh. Kena pay lewa, like old man eating meat. Tak kena salah pay lewa, ni ni konyo. So tindar eh, tak translation lewa. That translation is in the translation career rest and the translation career rest and the career rest and did it. The translation in the time of last year, the conference Chikla Chimbe in Colorado conference Chikla Chimbe in. Translation, conference key means in a translation and transmission. I have it here. Translation key, conference key titles in a translation and transmission. Translation and transmission. That is called translations in it. That call out a drug your pub your pure called a pub your drug your cake your transmission the career is transmission career there and a concert gay conference organizes that the big la transmission countries Google is because some of that a Ini korang gen tu pun jumpa orang, gen tu pun jumpa korang organiser ki komite re. Ini korang transmission, ini he he translated this. Transmission se Gong Deng Gi Gulam. Gong Deng Gi Gulam. Tak Gong sana Gong Barwa, Gong sana de kedup ni mana ki ni mana kapa zapa bo Gong Gi Gong Ba, korang ki Gong Ba Deng Gi Gulam, 
Ta gilam sene mare dose mare ba gilam ruwa ko je sa ha tunda de sene keba ngemati jaba poti kono ki gombarwa kono ki gombasena kono ki what he has in his mind ruwa his message we say his message kono gomba de de gomba de ti gilam kaba dos dosa kaba yore sene ene den den du ki uh chigel ki uh karsa uh nangchul dona chekhe de trosa derba so this transmission de 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 sure transmission de gulam dendare de gulam dendara ene gulam dendare gombet hm ta khandes gibresa no translation ki konerba translation ki kone ene kepade gombet hm ene over time, over culture, over language, the rikshun, the cake, cake, the over the any couple of labors, no, was a thing durva, thing do kichigala lepiorva. So this transmission, so translation and transmission. Translation, translation is like a kaisa, like motor nanshire, like a car, wa motor nanshire, any. De moto nala uh uh meet doa the gondunre the gondun gombe dunre this is the message uh, so like this it's carried translation means carried across what is carried across the message of the original author it's like this so in this conference I gave uh, example be now I don't know whether you understand this example, but maybe you do. In mu music, Western music, Western classical music, you know. Western when a Western musician plays, they have in front of them a piece of paper. They on us what he called musical score. This shake it da. Da you get it? Da, da, da. So the dot, 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 dot. Can I solve your thing? Yeah, picture casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonyo, the tenyo, the cast. Tonyo, the kaisa. If you when you do chanting, you know, there is the 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 chick for what? So this musician, piano player, wow. He is playing something written by somebody in two three hundred years ago. And he has never heard Kumanyo Tarimbakum Mishibra a long time ago. In seventeenth century no tape recorder Mindua. Tape recorder your mare. So all this, this he only only has this only has paper. De Mato Mindu. So from that paper he has to reproduce reproduce this music from two hundred years ago, he has to bring into present time and reproduce. That's his job, right? Has to, or she, he or she has to reproduce the music of the original composer. All he has is this. So this is like a translator. Translate has yigi. Only yigi. No. Just yigi. And from the yigi, he must uh, find the, the gomba dun. And through translation to the translation ki mota, he must bring this message to Western audience. Do you translate a letter there? Ra. So, in that sense, in, in that sense, we say translate ki legen kabayores, responsibility kabayore. Ta responsibility ni yore. Chikla korangla zebapo kirup. Also, they must say, and they are lonely, the Western audience, they are responsibility. Call our responsibility, ni yorva. Translate is in a keni maorva, keni maowa. Responsibility, ni keni yore, responsibility, ni yore, rwa. Kaba, mik ni gugudo, chik ni looking there, then other looking at there. So this would balance. This is a this is the difficult thing for translators to do, to find this balance. 
you know too much here not good too much there not good you have to find a balance so for me personally I think so Kora original author Tagore why because we are carrying if I am driving a car in the back I have a passenger my responsibility is to the passenger right if I drive too fast and I have responsibility to the passenger. That's all there. So it's very important that the translators are main responsibility. In English we say allegiance. We discuss this word in class and it's very difficult to find Tibetan word, but I think it's like damsik. You have a damsik to the original author. Right. This damsik must you must not you must keep this damsik. But also you have a little damsik to the or to the reader, so you have these two damsik. But mainly it's primarily, I think, to the author, right? Why? Because when you translate Tangbojie, first of all, you have shamo ni gogudo. Tangbo shamo sena bergi shamo re, like this in kambak or something. I don't know. Bergi shamo gungo re. Ah, bergi shamo gungo re sena you. Read the text. Any Tambodi Munitani Yapuchi Gogore, you must understand. We say you must taste it. Uh, not just understand Yigi, but understand everything. Why are you understanding? The Gombatun, Gombatun, Kurangi Gomba Karares. Like his musician. Musician, when he plays, he must, in his head, he must hear the music. You must hear the music. So the translator, first of all, and at this time only Tibetan. For me, this is hard. For you, maybe easy. For me, this is hard. So first of all, you understand in Tibetan. And the Yabu Mashena and the Kapatan Geshi the Lama Konsu Kati Shuja and a Kali Kali in a ringi ringi dinne Kalisa Kwachi Raso Kwa Yabuchi Raso. The Kwa is in a Siki Kwa Mare. The Kwa's oh Tindare Lamsa Kudua. So De Raso no any then you get in your mota in your car. Your mota. Now you have a gomba. Gomba dinner raso put it in the back of the car and um, you go. Now you take off Tibetan hat and put on Western hat, you know, like this baseball cap, maybe this one, you know, <laughs> like Ari, I love New York or something like this. The Western hat, Ra. We talk about, you know, when we say you wear a Western hat, means now you are West, now you forget Tibetan. Then you ask yourself this question. If Kepa De, Kerub De, Korangi, Kaisa Chike Yina, if he was English, what would he say? What would he say? This gomba, I have this gomba here. Now, what would he say in English? Right. So like this, you know. Then, then comes out the English expression. The English, oh, we're talking English about other languages too. Then out comes the English expression of the gomba, right? So, when you do like this, it's not like you take one word from Tibetan, one word English, one word Tibetan, one, not like this, do mare. We say, you know, translation is not like a, you have a, a one shelf, right, with books. You take one book here, one book, not, just, not like this, the translation mare. <laughs> Maybe this is a secure, but manche is a dungure, and secure and dungure mixing it. So you have the you have the gomba. Now the gomba is in Tibetan. Now the gomba must be in English, right? Now you think about the reader. And there, but without losing the allegiance, the damsik, you must now find expression in English. So when we express in English, we need. English grammar, punctuation, comma, 
paragraph. To be a paragraph, you know, paragraph, you paragraph, you know, these days sometimes in books, you know, paragraph, you know, paragraphs, syntax, clear, good vocabulary, uh, footnotes, glossaries, bibliography, table of contents, introduction, index. It's how much Google it. Some of Google it. Why? Because Kona Lonina Lonina Pengereva. Dear Lonina Pengeres. This Damsik is not broken. Just on Kapa, and there's no glossary, no footnotes, no bibliography, no index. Your Marwe. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is help the reader understand the Gongba. So it's there. The Gongba is complete. Chasan Yare. Gongba dun gulam. Gongba dun gi gulam. Yare. Gongba dun. Gongba dun. Mota translation gi mota tongne. Ene chige gi loni ne lebres. Destination lebres. Di yare. Ne de kola. Ene rokpa chik. Test des jena. Yakpa yare. Yakpa yare. Di la loni gi tamsi chavre. Yakpa yare. We say. Consideration, see, consideration for the author, Damsik for the Zabapo. If you do like this, then I person my my idea, then translation Yabo Yungare, Munere, Yabo Yungare. So, like this. Uh, mm. So, um, Last in two thousand and eleven, there was one conference here. It's called Tengyu Translation Songdu. King Kashi's Translation Peche Sama Pebre. Um, Kaptila Gyorim Shi Pebre and gave a little kalop, you know, he gave a talk. And he said, um, you know, sometimes translation not necessary. He said, Prepena. You take Belden Dawa Tapa, Kombo Lutup, Dura, Konsu Uma, Uma, Uma Shekin Yoroa, and then Konsu Koranzo Gish Uma Chupata, Sawasher Ne, Konsu Gitso, the Tupta, Tumda, Lenge, you take, then you translate and you give to Western audience. Gondon, you take. And give to Western audience. This is transmission. The translation, Mare, is not translation, it's transmission. Because you are not taking, you're not translating a text. You're not translating a text. What you're doing is taking the Gombe and putting it into English without the text. You decide what to take, how to put this is your decision. That transmission, you know, then there. Kerala Gelen Chewa Yore. It's a big responsibility because you have to decide. So, recently, His Holiness in Dharmasala, he has started this new program. Uh, he got all his geshes. He said, Now you write the Gongbe of Babaludu, Uma, and Samsamba. You write, you know, not trans, no, you just write. And then English will tra English people will translate, you know. So at the end, is this we get a text? This text mare, the umma jupa mare, umma jupa gombare. So this is not translation of umma jupa, but it is a, it is a transmission of uh, umma jupa. So, in my understanding, translation you know, transmission gore. transmission you know. Translation yimba yimba makyap musum ingre musumre. Translation yina transmission. Translation yina transmission go. Transmission yina translation into music go gumal. Did nirva. Therefore, this conference was called translation and transmission. Tanyi. So I think it's important to understand translation and transmission. Yabu shehores. Hmm. 
So, um, to say, so, when you're trying to use a methodology of translation, when you're trying to translate methodology of translation, the Methodology, I use a The kama nga, kama chula is not that complicated. It's not like sort of this is more complicated than op, than, trans, than translation methodology. You know, I think most important thing is to remember that the allegiance and the tamasik to the author is the main thing, and consideration of the audience is maybe secondary, right? So, then the question is, for example, in this conference last uh, 2011, he, 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 gave, he gave a talk, Kebachi, in the academic Kebachi, Professor Chi, Kondinda Laure. Bershung Chik, one Tibetan text, ah, should be translated many different ways, you know. Why? Because of the different audience. So Lonye Sure Lavgure, Lonye, Lon who is the reader? Ta Lonye Senrik Bayana, the translation chick chair. The Lonye psychologist, you know, and the translation shamba chikko. And it Lonye Sena me chuma pelba yana the translation chikkure. And it tendare. So Shungchi la translation min rawa gugudosa. So depending on different, you know. Tangi that not killing me. I think I'll come with those angi. This is for me a little difficult to accept this. Wow. Kaisana one is any Shung Chik Rua. Shung Chik translation chik gugudo. Manuwe. Because allegiance is to, you know, if you write, a te for example, if I take this, uh, this piano player, mm -hmm. he is playing, you know, something. And he looks, an audience, and there's no good, they're like this, you know. So, oh, also the, she the color cover, the console, haku, gumare, gaga, mares. So he, he, he changes it, makes it more like some hip hop or some, some jazz or so. Yeah. He changes it, and then oh, oh, audience wake up. Okay, for audience yaba yaba, but for the original composer, dikem mindua. You are you are changing. Some not hire. If you change the text, because oh ngaso lonian senrik pare, therefore this translation must be senrik pa language. Philosopher, Western philosopher language. So you try too much, you know. Then, I don't know, there's some more How much do you change? You have to think about the audience. That's true. You must think about the audience. But if you think the audience too much, then you break Damsik. あの、ngaso don't want everyone to become buddhist. Maybe teachers like it, they did it. Now, so translate a legend, the mare. The translation go, the any inji kashi magawa, you know, that would die around it. Kaji or it. If they don't like, okay, they don't like. Yeah, so don't say, Kuranga yore, Zeba po yore. Consideration yore, grammar yakpo, selpo. Punctuation, so syntax, the self was a the Google tool. You know, I think you're like a peche yore, pena sakala, sakam, sakara, sakan, you have a waiter, right? Waiter, he brings the food, right? Kuranke leka karadesana, kirana, 
kala te chok se la sha ni kra ro a kora kala zoni mar ba te machin le kar ba kono chap san la gana machin yor ba kon ge le kar kon kala zo ani waita kore he doesn't say when he brings the food he doesn't say oh you must eat like this you must eat you la ko mar ba he doesn't say this kon ge le ka sa so mar ba table a sha ani ta ta sha ta she mo go ta kira kira kala sa kira kira ge le kar ba ni le ka mar ba so translate chick pa in ro mar ba ma so le ka kar ra so na we give offer ma so we are waiters we are how you say service industry in english we say service we perform service here this is translation of jason carpers rumga children this for you kale kabo yena kale kabo re jason carpers is is a difficult text i can't make it easy kale kabo yena kale kabo re kon ta kai cheo re what to do i can't change ra However, um, so therefore, but it's important to understand. For me, maybe not so difficult, but for you, uh, understand Western attitudes these days. Ding du gi sam su lu ra, bu gi nang chu la, bu den 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 za bu gi nang chu la, ari da Europe da sama la kap 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 da gi ora spread. Ra, ini yang di nangju la tadi minda yare. So I, I just want to maybe talk a little bit about um, the attitudes of, of Westerners. Um, so first of all, generally speaking, da cikgu la nangba yare. Ini yang kasi nangba la dona yare. Ini yang nangba rang mare. And many like this. Many, many at this uh, conference, Ac there are many professor, academic, konzo keba 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 re, bogi, bogi nangchula, keba re, nambo mare, kaise na, nambo mare, tungso nambo re, tan nambo se na kai dun, nambo se na the, ah, ha, kiamdo la jo di nambo charo wa ani. Uh, so not everybody is Buddhist, you know. So generally speaking, we say there are academics. We talk about academics and practitioners. The academics and practitioners and the gel 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 Ta academic yena practitioner ma yin ba kyap sen de mare practitioner yena academic ma yin ba kyap sen mare yin ya rik rik de rik dua so academics usually uh, many academics are buddhists and they are usually professors in american universities mainly not not other, mainly american because buddhist studies is very big in america but buddhist studies is not very big in europe in england nothing American English university, nothing. Maybe one university, but in America, Harvard and all these places, Columbia University, very big, right? So there are many American Buddhist academics. Right? So these academics are like scientists. The way they think as scientists. If they write something about Buddhism, you know, they they do a lot of, uh, you know, takchetan, shipchuk, research. Very careful. You know, sloppy, your mind, you understand sloppy? My class understands the word sloppy. Sloppy means, um, you know, just, how you say sloppy? Not like this. Academics are very careful. You know, I know many times I have uh, uh, been with some geshe. Uh, and uh, or, and some Western academic has come to talk, and uh, the geshe has said to me, "Oh, not she. I'm very nervous, sir. Con keba keba roa, con academic re, you know, con he knows things I don't know. You know. They have this reputation. They're very sharp, you know. 
But, because of academic, because of the number of people in the university, the number of people in the university, you learn in like monastery or so forth. And when you study as an academic, the MU is a PhD or uh, 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 books or whatever, for making a book. But when you study in, in, in for example, in in a, in, a, in a Gomba, and you do Uma, Pachin, Z, Tari, Lori, the Miu Karades and Sosan Yamleva, Sosan Yamleva, Miu Re. So, Miu Tes Kagato. So, academic, so Miu is an educational qualification. So, you know, once in the Senate, Senate, uh, like, uh, we were studying Lori. That Lori, that was true English, that was true Google, Google, Google. And then, our PhD student can level it. And then, Berke, oh my, Berke, Shinge, oh my, but he stayed and asked questions, or uh, you know, in, in English. And so, some Tibetan they helped him. Then he goes back to America. Then next thing you know, now he's read a book and uh, you know <laughs> he's uh, he's become sort of a, a professor, you know. For maybe one month, two months. They can die, you know. Red. Then there are. Then you see it. My academic. I don't mean any criticism, no. but you have to understand when academic. If you translate, you know, and you, you don't put footnote, and you don't put glossary, and you don't put kung, lung ya lung la kung gogodos, kung men academics are ah, they will criticize you. They are very, how you say, simple, sh I'm not it. very sharp, you know, that's academic, though. they are different. Academic translation and practitioner translation, so practitioners, you know, practitioners, I don't mean they are not academic, but in Western there are some practitioners who are not academics, they go to Dharma Center, like Lama um, Zaburumbishi, FPMT or a consorwa, consugilomoto, academic ram, are in a consul deba chamboyore, Rimbushila deba chamboyore, and in a conyon and yabiore, and you retreat mumbozogu, and they meditate a lot. So they little different way of thinking. They have a lot of faith, deba mumboyore. Sometimes faith may be mongde, I don't know. I don't know, but when it's only in a, that's why we say they are practitioners. They they practice mainly academic. They're not. So if you look at FPMT translations, there's not many footnotes, not many glossaries, you know, not many, not much introduction. Why? They read a book because they want to practice. Academic, they have a book because they want to understand, they want to know, they want knowledge. So there are these two types. In in um, me, I'm in middle. Academic mare, a practitioner mare. So there are these two types, you know. And um, I have um, then we have scientists, Senric Bok. Now these days, many scientists interested in Buddhism, but a girl in Michigan, mind and life. Conference number number of our consul Gisenri, but the consul the Gaurim Shita common discussion number zero. Most of these scientists they are not Buddhists, but they are interested in the Buddhist philosophy of emptiness. They have their quantum physics and uh, this, uh, especially Stendel, dependent origination. Tendel, consul Dona Jagior, ah, Chichena. And they, they think that there is connection between Konsugi quantum physics and the Pabaludugi Kaisa uh, Umatawa. And Gyaurim Shay, he also says, yeah, Drewa Yore. And so they meet. So their interest is, they, uh, but maybe they are not, they are not Buddhist, I don't think. Not Buddhist, you know. I know, for example, one person asked me, well, yesterday I was talking, and said, how can Christian be scientist? Christians in a Kunjola Kelengi Yorawa, 
Zambolingi Jabapo Kelling Dua God created the world. Science is not a young mother. Can I cover the Big Bang Rock? The Gelg Dua Big Bang God Marva. So they some uh, you know, but Yore, there are Christians who are scientists. So the Ingere, the Shamo. Ta na church la do do na Christian gi shamo gun gyore. Ta any science is like a general scientist gi shamo gun. They they kaga de they separate. It's okay. Ta tiga marve ti tiga de tiga de. So like that. So there are the scientists. Academics are like religious. Academics are religious scientists. Then scientists, actually scientists, are those who are engaged in scientific work. They have a lot of interest in Buddhism, but they are not necessarily Buddhist. Another type of Buddhist is the mindfulness people. The mindfulness people. Then these days, mindfulness, jamba, jamba, jamba nesha, jamba, wa, jamba, chula, jamba nesha, chula jamba nesha, semla jamba nesha, sola jamba nesha, lugi jamba nesha, shi orwa ingere. This very, now these days, mindfulness is a little bit keta. It's becoming very important. Ah. In schools, teachers are teaching mindfulness in schools. Even uh, in uh, British Parliament, Shabsiva, Shabsiva, politician, Ra. at the beginning they do maybe five minutes mindfulness meditation. And especially in the world of therapy. Therapy is a semkan rikvarabe. Therapy. And ther you understand, therapy. They are using Buddhist mindfulness. mindfulness. I don't think so. But anyway, mindfulness is now we call the buzzword. We say the buzzword. Very popular. So you please remember when you translate jamba. You think what do you try? Mindfulness. The mindfulness in English and temper in Tibetan, some difference. You know. So mindfulness is very, very. Then there, um, also another thing. Both, you know, in, in Tibetan you have, uh, you have, 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 some Westerners, there's no re. They think, oh, Galupa, they just study. And the Nyingma, they just practice. Some people, I have heard this. They know But this is very strong belief. Ah, Galupa, con lojong membo, lojong membo, jeke yore, nyamlan jeke yore, mare. Nga Nyingma re, nga gom kyao kyo. Some people say like this. Inji de. This is not good, ra. You know, His Holiness always says, you know, His Holiness and he was in Mexico once and uh, he met this in Inji woman and she said, oh, I am Nyingma. <laughs> and when he was here <coughs> a few years ago, he gave Kalob here at school and he says, Kaju, Nyingma, Gelu, Shakya. Sick thing, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear these words. Nasu nangbare. So, but many Westerners, so you have to be careful. Many Westerners have, how you say, chokri uh, jeba, chokri, a little bit chokri. In Western now. Then there are some, the nonchela, bugi nonchela, kashela, inji mikawa yore. Pena, nonchela, nyelwa yore, hell. Nyala Mangbuya, Nyala Nyala Ge, Nyala Sa Ge, Sawa Ge, Trawa Ge, Yang So, Yang Su. Ta Nyala Mangbuya Rua. Naso Josa Re Re, Kashi Senator. Nyama Di, Dalam Sala Di, Song Rubuche Yore, Song Rubuche. Very strict. So that, very strict. Ta Kiran So Sama, Nyala Dogre Kayo Marida. He said, you know. But we, Many Westerners don't like this. Don't like this. This uh, idea of hell. They don't want to know. 
I don't want to know why. <laughs> also, the other reason is because it's Christian. In Christianity, there's much talk of hell. Hell, 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 right? You will go to hell. You, you either go to heaven or you go, you will go to hell. You will go to hell. Now many Westerners call the Christianity la kelenga maris. They don't believe. They say, you talk about hell because you want to frighten us. You are go to hell. You are going to hell. He said, we don't want this. We are not to be frightened by hell. You know, imagine there is no heaven. John Lennon, he sang, you know, imagine there's no heaven. You know, no hell below us, above us only sky. You know this song by John Lennon? You should know this good song. So uh, if you translate Nyelwa as hell, okay, what else can you translate it as? But you should know that many Westerners, when they see hell, they say, oh, no, no, didn't know. We don't, this killing the mothers. Also, the other thing they have problems with is guru devotion. Shinny so, so these days when his holiness talks no he talks about ningje Everyone understands Ningje, Ningje, Chamba, Ningje, Machakpa, and Yunte. So, if you are translating, you have to, and you have to choose. You know, you're going to choose a book that's got lots of descriptions of hell or good devotion. You must think, maybe I don't try. So, this is something to think about, guru devotion. You know, and also they say, ah, oh, if you go like this, then uh, guru de, lama de, kong ngake chakare, uh, he will become, uh, I can do, you know, the yabo mare, then the yongare. But the yama yama jiku mare, nukcho ke lumbala, then the kashi yongare. That not only, not only Buddhist, but other religious people, they become big, then they want, then they get lots of money, and then the yore. So then younger do so that we don't like. And also religion itself. In Jika Nyokta Yorwa Islamic terrorists. Me Mambo Sevarwa. Because it the the uh chuk kun ka kun kaba chula yoresa. I say kun they say the fault is religion. Religion kun religion la yore. Religion manner? And then you go mare. They say Islam manner and Islamic Islam manner and Islamic terrorists, you go mare. Ta Islam, Buddhism, Christianity, the Sama Kugu mare. Kaisina did it. My uh, in, in my guest house, I have this uh, uh, Sanskrit scholar, um, Sangasen. He told me one poem. He said in uh, in India. There is this poet. He was the father of um, Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan, top Shumbara actor. His father, Amitabh. His father was poet. He says, and he wrote this poet. Just two lines. He said, um, "When there is religion, there is fighting. When there is drinking, there is friendship." Sure, <laughs> <laughs> So me people, most people, they, they religion. So um, 
also another thing is feminism. Feminism, how goes on? Feminism, raw. That then sang as a tenduki samsus and a podamo chan yambo jagura. Top tongue, top tongue, chickpa chickpa. The yakpore, Mune, Gavarim, she tend a mambo sungudo. Yin, eh, Bergi, Pachin, Ningba, and Cashela, mo meratangadoa. Kin. So, at this conference, was one anil, uh, zoom, one nun. Geloma Ingere, Geloma, American Geloma. And uh, she put up all these uh, lung from uh, India. Very, I mean, more, Merashe Tare, very bad. Pumo Ranshi, Numo Reza, like this. So she said, we must not translate these. Kaisen a dengdugi came in la, how you say, offend Jagiyora. They hurt. Now, this is much discussion. And um, some people say, no, no, no. If it's Shungla Yuna, we must translate. We have Domsik. We must translate. You know, if other if people have hurt, it's there in the text, we must translate. And she said, no, no, no. The dengdugi, we, we need. We need 21st century Buddhism. 21st century Buddhism, uh, we, don't dis we don't talk bad about women. So there's much debate. There's much debate. If you're translating something and you see something bad about you know, women, you translate it in English or not? Or do you maybe change it? You change, maybe you change a little bit, you know, like that. <laughs> you know, they say, yeah. Uh, I won in, 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 in Kathmandu, this is Sakya Chaba, he says, Kye yakpo yo mare, ka kye keo membare. It's not a good word, you know. And uh, this, you know, you can't say anila, anila mare, anis auntie de ba. What sumo re? Sumo re ve, sumo, sumo, sumo. Sunma, Sunma, sorry. Sunma is a queen, or a tatare. Queen's an animal. <laughs> so, so, like this. So, this you can't do something. What to do? Yoruba. Do you change? Or do you keep? My, uh, my opinion, I think it, we should keep. If it's in the text, Sunma, you know, Yoruba. Translate Jagore. Consume Gawa, you know. What to do? Text like Pumo di Meratanga di Naso Pumo la Meratanga Marva. And it ding emming emmere, ding emming emmet samsure, did ding dig samsu mare. Va. And a corangi mora moda kern labiore Pumo de ding dig pumo marva. Cagare. You get samsure, but she very utsukira gagados, you know. So, but I mean, you know, this is some of you can think. Then, these days, we are like feelings and emotions. In the world of therapy, feeling is very important. One criticism of Buddhism, I hear, ah, oh, you Buddhist, you never, ex you never talk about feelings. Everything is inside. And everything, you want to control the feelings. Sem dulje, rangi sem ni yong su dul, you know, you need to control. And we need to express our feelings. If you're angry, be angry. If you're happy, be happy. If you're sad, be sad. Don't change. This is very, very popular. So in Tibetan Buddhism, you know, we talk about emotions. And in Western wood, emotions and feelings have the same meaning. Emotions and feelings. They have feelings in a tsara Feelings, when we talk about express your feelings. In, in West, they say women express their feelings. Men don't express their feelings. Men are like this. And women express their feelings when they are unhappy, you know, and so forth. But they say, you know, if you're unhappy, then you cry, it's good. So this is very, very popular. 
And even, you know, some of my friends from Dharamsala in the 1970s, they have become therapists. My wife is therapist, you know. And they say, ah, oh, Tibetan Buddhism is good, but they don't talk about feelings. They don't talk about emotions. Ah, oh, for them, motion, emotion is pangjare. Emotions in a nyumo mare. There's no are. Emotion is like some emotions are nyumo, like anger. But some emotion, like love, the nyumo yinsu mare. So this word emotion, when you translate, be careful. Emotion, in English, emotion means feeling. Feeling means emotion. If you translate sorwa as feeling, maybe best to translate sorwa as sensation. Because feeling means, feeling means like uh, emotion in English. Feeling means emotion. Then um, also another thing is that these days we senior logic, riglam, riglam, chigya manche riglam la gagamaris. That riglam and they say ah that riglam and they go go alegare. <laughs> they say, you say, we don't, we talk about head and heart. I say, ah, logic is all here. Logic, kambo de, kambo, is dry. Logic, kambo, kambo to. Ning is warm and wet. So they don't like logic. You know, you know, that, not so, some Westerners say, oh, this is not necessary. They don't understand that Nasu, you know, in the West days, there's Riglam da logic is dry. We don't want. Chigegi namba kashi tena samu sangu yare da riglam kaide. Also, I think even I had one geshe. He, he told me da riglam mumba tona kepa kepa jena. I said nyamla ma jena go trepo tosa go trepo chagres. He one geshe ngala sun sun. Did you hear? Pese kashi be 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 chizola yare ba. Uh, also, I have finished in a minute. Now, many Westerners like Tantra. Sangala Gaboyorwa. Sangala, there's many deities, many hands, and all these other mumbo. Gagodwa. Oh, the up So they like Tantra. Many like Tantra. You know, so. Again, you need to ask yourself, are you going to translate tantric texts? If you translate tantric texts, you know, some people say, oh, you shouldn't translate tantra. Kaya Samadirava, it's sang arva, sang, sang arva, sang arva, sang arva, sang arva, sang arva, yondala, misu, you know, dengu mares. But Gyaurim Vishay, he says, dengdu, kala, chigeke lumbala, sang arva, lokto mambayare, mistaking our views, mambayare. Yes, huh? If you publish one book about trans tantra, di yabo yore, kaise lok tok silgide. So this is some view, yeah. You know, if you buy a book on tantra, on the cover there is one deity yidam ki pare yore wa kupare yore, yeah, tinga dua. Even even here in Hindu, but in some, you know, in Lakhon there are many pictures of deities, and the Westerners they come, they go to Tibet, they go to Dharamsala, they see oh. All these deities. So they think, oh, then this is everyone can practice. So this is dinner some will do. Um, as I say, if you translate words like Dikpa, Mikewa, Nyelwa, you will be using words that are found in Christianity. You know, Dikpa la Christianity yore, chuela yore. So some people translate Dikpa as sin. Sin is a, a Christian word. So many chika say, oh no, this, this, I don't like this. Sin is a Christian word. 
So, you know, many words are, but there are Christianity and Nang Chusulu, Tumungi, Mongo Yorwa, common basis Yore. So, you need to think do you use Christian words? Or do you use, some people want to use um, philosophical words. Now, uh, there's one book by uh, a translation of Dapol, what is it, Gampopa, Dapol Aje, Laman Tagin, Marwa, Laman Tagin, Ingere, Laman Tagin, translated into English by this um, man called Gunta, Herbert Gunta, many, many years ago. And he used Western philosophical language, all the time, everything Western philosophical language. Nobody could understand. I can't, even, I, and even these that I can't understand. If I look at the Tibetan, I can understand. I can't understand. So he used Western philosophical language. Now, this is like what I said before. You know, you, should you translate text because your reader is philosophical, or your reader is scientific, or your reader is therapist? This is what he did. You know, but if you are a Western philosopher, okay. But if you're not, then. You can't understand. Well, not everybody understands Western philosophy. Not many people. You know, I said in class yesterday, there's this word, um, uh, adventitious, which is a translation of lobur, lobukitima, lobur. Adventitious, in English, nobody knows this word. If you go into the street and say, hello, what does adventitious mean? I don't know. They don't know these words. Same in, 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 in Tibetan, if you, if you go in the streets and ask, you know, what is, uh, what is uh, uh, Sheja Jiba, or what is Nyumungi Jiba? Lozoma Jana Hakuk Marwa. So the same. You know, someone said at the conference, you should translate a text so that your mother can understand it. I mean, that, I don't know what this means, mother. Bergi Ama Ingere, I don't know. But, um, if you make it too difficult, if you make it too Christian, too difficult, too scientific, too festive philosophical, then your audience is like this. You know. So in my opinion, I go back to the beginning. You keep your dansik to the gomba of the kedup, and then you bring over here, and then you find, okay, this keba. If he was English, you know, what would he say? That's the way, you know, thinking too much of this. But there are all these um, Western attitudes. Have I got time? I, I didn't use this. Yeah, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Um, uh, Five minutes, I got it. Okay, I use this. So, um, uh, so what do I? Uh, acknowledge in inability. Now, if if you don't, if you don't understand something, you say. That shinge mena shinge ma shinge mena shinge marwa. If you don't understand, you don't understand. When you translating, oh, the ingere, the peshe the ingere, oh, the the gyabne digere. No, no, no. Many things we don't understand. I don't understand. Even Tibetan, I don't some geshe or lama. I don't know. So you put footnote. This I don't understand. This is very important. You must be drumbo. You write in either introduction or in footnote. I don't understand this. Then do not add or admit, omit. You know, don't add something that's not there. <coughs> if it is there, the the buila yangna ngusu yuna dunla shukla yuna, then it's there. Just because the word is, you don't have to use brackets all the time. It's not in necessary. In my translations, in wisdom publications, never brackets, no brackets, never. You know, if it's there, it's there. You know, ah. If it's there, it's there. If there's no verb in the Tibetan, literally, but the verb is there. So you don't 
you, you don't uh, you don't add anything you don't leave anything out then check thoroughly this is third one don't be sloppy you check again you do one you do one translation then you do another one and then you do a third one and then you work with the editor you must do a lot very careful too many mistakes I see in Tibetan texts too many especially these days when you, you, you are you are copying texts from there you must check you must check again and again and again it's very important so keep to deadlines <laughs> you understand deadline it's not good this is your responsibility don't be late Oh. I use footnotes and notes. Footnote is for translators. Translator ki samsul. Extra information in a footnote gogodu, not in the text. Or footnote. Extra information. Some extra information. Translator ki rang keena footnote jagore. Footnote should not be used for everything. I'm going quicker, I haven't got time. Style. You need a style. When you translate, when I translate, I have one book from Wisdom Publications, how to use italics, how to do capitals, phonetics, transliteration. There are rules. You follow these rules exactly. Sometimes you put trans italics, sometimes not. Do you, you know, consistency of translation. You must translate this, you know, you can't translate one word here in one way and then later on in another way. It's not good, you know. Sometimes it's possible. For example, you hear the word yeshe. Sometimes yeshe is primordial awareness, pristine awareness, gnosis, exalted wisdom. Translation won't be it. But you choose one. And then in the glossary, in the glossary you put all the other translations of the word yeshe you put so the reader understands. Otherwise, if the reader says da 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 primordial awareness and then da 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 uh, pristine awareness. They don't know if it's the same word. Tibetan is the same word, so you be careful. Sanskrit, does Sanskrit, so no, sometimes you translate Sanskrit into English. Title of book, you translate into English, if possible. You don't, you don't just put Majamaka Avatara, you put engaging in the middle way, translate if possible. Phonetic system, okay, then you must trans, you know, if you write ch, you can't write C H O. C H O is Cho. In Cho is C H O with two dots. You know, if you write Rinpoche, you know, I, I once uh, someone English person said, "What does Rinpoche mean?" Rinpoche, yeah, uh, R I N P O C H E. Oh, like Rinpoche, because in English it's Rinpoche, but at the, uh, if the, on the E, if you put up, and then it's Rinpoche, so that. Then you need introduction. You have to introduction is a academic exercise. In my translation, I get is a separate work. When I write introduction, I get separate money, separate fee. It's a little bit of academic research on itself. It's not just Dagas copying something from the book. Table of contents. At the beginning, you must have contents. There's not in Tibetan. Index you need. Bibliographies at the end, you must have a list of all the names of all the books, where they are in the Tengur, Kangur. And um, glossary. Glossaries, they explain the words. Even a word like bodhicitta. Not everyone knows what bodhicitta means. So you put bodhicitta, you know, and then say what it is. Right. Um, okay, I, I should finish here because uh, I'm late. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Gavin La. Mr. Gavin La, I am not sure what I am doing. 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 I am not sure what I am
Tobati, and Kongi Loba Boda, Emna Academic Dam Practitioner Nicola, and the Kondo, the Chichin to Nantuki, the Legin Chigda, and in Gurnando Sambala, Kongi, and Nuchobi, when I think Sangi, the Samlo Mamushta, and Yawada, and in Shingin Timbada, Kumundanyamgi, and Samlo Mamushi saw Child and Zamakunzola, Ta Gur, Tata Guru, the Chichin to Guru, and Kanye Wadoji, Ta Mamushi Sunason, and Again, there is some criticism of Muslims. You know, the two they, this, they, they, Muslims are called Lelo, you know. Mekalecha. Oh, Lelo, Mekalecha. So there is some criticism, you know, in 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 Dukur Rang, Dukur Dukur Gigi, not uh, not the Jimmy again, but Dukur Gigi, and it is uh, there's um, there's some criticism, and they talk about Muslims. They even talk about Mecca and Muhammad, and uh, and th these people are barbarians. They will destroy the lot of this, you know. So I wrote this, and Tupin Jimba, he says, no, no, don't, don't, don't say this. <laughs> don't, don't say this. So the audience, mainly audience, is the average intelligent Westerner who is, may or may not be a Buddhist. What was the question? This is my work. What do you mean, me, you, cut it, me, you, this? <laughs> my aim. I have no choice, Ra. I have no. Tipton Jimba, he said, you did translate your cheese. I, I can't choose. Not a choice, Mindo. So I have no meal. My meal is just to translate, you know. You know I have no. No. <laughs> Sanskrit <laughs> Sanskrit in the 1970s, some people translate. Jambe Young, they translate gentle voice. They translate Jambe Young. <laughs> but it sounds strange. Come Ming Marwa, gentle voice in the Sen Marwa. Con description, you know. Also, chen rezi. How you translate chen rezi? Abba loki this for a chen rezi, chen sentirva, rezi. It's difficult. It's very, very difficult. Um, uh, so, we have made a decision to lie down, lie ming down, perki mare gaga gi pandita konzo ketu kongi ming sen yena the. We back translate into, you know, Sanskrit. So, you don't Dawatakpa. You know, Dawatakpa means famous moon. That the Kansare. So Chandrakoti is is best. And okay, people don't understand um, Jambayang, but you know, so what? It doesn't matter. I don't think you know. Um, I don't think it's important that. Uh, you know, that so for the one reason is that. That it doesn't—it sounds strange in English if you translate names. It sounds very, 
sounds very strange. You know. Sometimes it's important, you know, when they, when when someone writes a, a sundeb or a, a, a how you say, um, someone who's a young si nyunjur, mare nyurjumba, someone has died and someone write, and in the in the in the text the person's name is there, right? You know, the person like Lozan Takpa is Lo Sound and Takpa. Then in English it's impossible to translate because the, we can't do this, you know. But uh, you know, I, when we did this uh, life story of Buddha in the class, in the text it says, "Da gawa sesang la koreng ta tanda puku kesona koreng after the child was born da nge samba tamshe drubares jesa puku sen la shunu tundu shunu tundu." That English is impossible. Because we, Shunotunrup is Shetatar. And Shetatar, so how do you translate it? We don't know. All my wishes are fulfilled, therefore my child is called Shetatar. <laughs> so you have to say, all my wishes are fulfilled, Shetatar. Therefore I call him Shetatar, like this. It's a good point, it's a good point. You know, good point. So somebody, in the past, one person was called Tashi, and they translate this name, Lucky. <laughs> or someone was called Dawa, and they translate as Moon. But Moon is a Ming Marva, me Ming Mare, Namkara Moon. Good morning, Kevin, an old participant. Uh, I would like to speak in English. <laughs> English, yes, yeah, speak yeah. English. For me, it's much easier. Uh, <coughs> uh, one thing I want to ask is, uh, is about uh, once a time in our university uh, training in the campaign or something else. Uh, uh, what? One of the professor told me that in Western, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know the campaign. It's in a workshop of uh, one of the Australian uh, professor actually his, and he told us that in Western, uh, doing a translation is not really considered as a valuable one, rather than considered as a valuable. Yeah, rather than. Uh, with the translation, if somebody write a research on that commentary or that uh, specific treatise, that would be considered as more valuable. So as uh, in our society or in our study field, uh, this kind of writing method, this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, method is really there. So I would like to mm. have a brief introduction about this kind of method. This, way, this is true. I mean. Yeah, and second one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got a second one, and uh, that is, uh, yeah, uh, in your rule or in your concept, you have told me that, uh, you have told us that uh, you never write uh, that kind of uh, a name, for example, if you are trying uh, to translate the book's name. Mm. In Tibetan, we have a different kinds of book's name. With the, as a, the book name is not so simple, because, uh, for for example, we would say that Tamchu, uh, okay, Chanchu um, Lamgi with the okay uh, examples with the significance and lots of things, right? For a name, book titles. Yeah. So if you are trying to translate these kinds of books into English, first we translate this as uh, into an English, the title of the book in English. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we used to write the phonetics or the transliteration of that kind of title mm. in a translation in a transliteration mm. so you have said that if uh, if that these kinds of uh, words is not into th in the uh, text mm. as you are translating then you would never yet you said that don't try to put it in into the uh, uh, translated work so mm. if you don't think if you don't do that then that would be a problem why because uh, if you only translate, example. for example, okay, uh, yeah, I've got lots of things here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I, well, I think you know, there. I agree. You know, there are there are. I, I was going to show you this. There are, you know, there are different types of translation. If you look at this second one, philological translation. This is what you're talking about. Philology. Philo Philological mean, philology means love of language, the literary, um, 
literary criticism, right? This is academic translation, right? The aim of this method is to produce a erudite, erudite in a wise, uh, clever, you know, annotate it in a footnote, mumbai Critical translation, critical translation, not using one text, but using one, two, three, four different Tibetan texts, you know, with commentaries. On linguistic and historical items, you know, um, it focuses on the scholarly public. For example, translating Bodhicharvatara for scholars who are going to study it, not only its contents but its language, culture, everything. So most academic translations are like this. They will have a long, long introduction. They will have lots of other historical information. They may even have a commentary. You know, it won't just be the root text on its own. So I think, you know, that is the, you know, for example, if you are, when we were talking about in 84,000, how to translate Tantra, someone says, how could you translate, for example, Dhirva, Sangadhuva, Sagi? Impossible. Nobody can understand. Sagi is Tantra. So my suggestion is you translate Sagi and then Shegyu and then maybe some Trelshe, and then maybe some Tibetan commentary, all together in one. Then you get a, how you say, complete package. You see. So maybe that, I, I, I agree. Otherwise, you, if you just translate something on its own, it's impossible to understand. So the second one, this philological translation, um, is, uh, I've got this, is okay. Um, uh, was that the question? Your next question was what? Yeah, yeah. The, for example, Kadam Lekpam Gilung, right? Kadam Lekpam. Kadam Lekpam Gilung is a transmission, right? Is a so if you translate these kinds of the books of oral transmission of Katamba, yeah, the people ca some people can understand, but some people won't. So beside that, in a bracket, we used to write Kadam Lekpam Gilung in a translated book, in a transliteration word. Right. Translated why? Transliteration to f understand for the f for better understand. How does it? Not, I, I don't see how that makes it. Uh, okay, in Tibetan. Le okay, Lung it's a just an example. You can, uh, for example, Kadam Lekwangi Lung is just an like example. Mm. So if you want to translate it into uh, English, then we translate, for example, books of oral transmission of Katamba. Yeah. We we'll translate like that. Yeah, yeah. Some people, some people won't understand it well. So for better understand, we would write uh, these words into a transliteration and write it, put it in a bracket. Transliteration means? Yes, transliteration. Transliteration means writing the Tibetan? Yeah, writing the Tibetan into an English word. That's not transliteration, that's translation. Transliteration means what? I mean, the okay, for example, you want to write a Thundrup. Huh? You want to write a Thundrup, and in a transliteration, huh? we would write Thundrup into an English word. D H O N Tundup and Fonditel is a different. Oh yeah, if you so write Tundup, it's translation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For better understand, we will write it in a Tibetan context. It is not in there. No. So as you told told us before that, in your way of translating, you never put that kind of w word in your translation. So, what do you think about it? I'm not sure I quite understand what you're saying. Um, I think. Uh, I know that. Uh, Kadam, yeah. if you, if if the book is about uh, uh, Kadam, Tibetan Jimba he translated this Kaisa, Kadam Puchu, Mare, Padam Puchu, Dirve, Kadam. He translated as Kadam, but everyone Kadamba. Then in the introduction. There's a whole history of Atisha and Kadampa and how they came to uh, Tibet. And so by the time you finish introduction, everyone understands Kadampa. The purpose of what I'm saying is this, wh why I say this about not putting in, <coughs> is that um, it's not so much <coughs> putting in words that are not there. It's more about <coughs> some people translate and if the word is not there, they put it in brackets, you know. If it's literally not there, they put it in, in brackets. For example, this lung I said, you know, Kaisa, Tungi Dewa, Mare, Jinbe Longsha Tungi De Ra, 
so in this in this uh, uh, in this jinbe long ju chungi de there is no verb in that there's no verb right but the verb is there you uh, it's understood to be there to na yore so when you put if you translate this into english from giving comes wealth and from ethics comes uh happiness this word come does not have to be in uh in brackets because in my opinion it is there it is in the tibetan but it's not ngusu yomara it's not actually there but dunla yore is understood to be there it's like in english you know if we say if i say come you know i what i mean is you come but you is not you know, i don't say you but everyone knows what i mean so i think that kind of is not we're not putting anything in there that um in that sense in that sense you know if something is there indirectly then it is it is there you know um if what i mean is by not putting something if it's not in the text that you should not add some kind of translators uh assistance to the reader because we think oh maybe the reader won't understand this therefore i will put my own thing if you're going to do this you either then you can use brackets or use a footnote in my opinion it's um otherwise now when i do this chopshun this 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 uh this uh you know this lamo lamo there are many things that are not actually there in the text but because it is so kake and poetic and uh, emotional you know there i can use the word emotion emotional language you know i don't have to put everything i feel what i have to do is carry the meaning i carry the meaning the gomba into the english and if there is a word in english that is not in the tibetan it doesn't matter if as long as it doesn't break the kind of the dumsik with the original with the original tibetan but in that we're talking about you you you're talking about the word katamba right Uh, excuse me excuse me uh, i guess uh, we have many questions and queries and also misunderstanding to be solved uh, among the students uh, but uh, we are uh, uh, lag behind of the time so okay, okay. yeah uh, we have uh, invited the uh, mr gavin la for uh, for lunch so if you have any questions you can ask at the time uh, so uh, finally uh, mr gavin la has two classes to take off uh, every uh, every uh two classes to take afternoon in every day so apart from his classes he has uh, kindly accepted our invitation so on behalf of the all the students and participating students i would like to thank you mr gavinla for this uh, for coming yeah, here thank you. for sharing this thank you uh ta mone chayo da chulala